floor right here. Yeah, uh, yeah, like right next to me. So great. Friday was my graduation day at the University of Miami. Congratulations. I had all my family over my house. It was the first time ever that I had all of them together in one house. And, you know, it was special. Can it help? No, Mom. On John's graduation day, just to see him, like, getting dressed and to see him, like, saying, let's take pictures and to have the whole family there. I'm just very happy. I'm proud of him. Tomorrow, uh, I'm Raphael Feliciano. I'm John's dad. I came from Far Rockway, New York. I came today for John's graduation. It's a big time in his life. So line up. My uncle and dad both flew in from New York. You know, my grandparents lived down here. And my brothers, my brother Raphael, my brother Christopher, they both came. And my mom. And it was just a great time. Okay. John, the first to graduate in our family, from college that is anyway. He just breaking the mold. Just having John graduate in high school and then college was like the most amazing thing because out of our whole family, none of us did this. You know, I was the, kind of the only one that didn't have to get a job right out of high school. So they kind of let me do what I had to do and graduate college. He got a full scholarship to go to University of Miami, which very hard to do. He did it all himself. I mean, to play football, to be and get to where he got, he did it all himself. He had a vision and he did it. He fought and very proud. Coming to Miami was a goal since ninth grade and going into my junior year, it became feasible. My coaches were telling me, you know, I have a real chance to play Division One football. And while at the time they were telling me that at, at home, you know, everything wasn't too good, you know, um. I was living with my mom and my older brother and our house got condemned. You know, they shut off our electricity, they shut off our water. And we lived, I lived like that for a few months. My whole family moved to New York except me. I didn't want to have to leave and start over again in New York. I would either stay with my friend Mark or stay at my at the condemned house or stay with my best friend Sean. At that time I didn't really think I could get through it, but football kept me away from the stuff I was dealing with at home. I started playing football because I, I wanted to come here, the University of Miami. When I got my scholarship to play the line, you know, there was nothing better. You know, I committed right on the spot. I didn't want to go anywhere else. My first year when I got redshirted, you know, I had some doubts. I didn't really know if, if I could play Division One football. And then I remember this uh, meeting I had with Coach Golden. It was our exit meeting after spring. And going up there, I was really scared. Like he was gonna say, you know, I'm sorry, but we gotta take your scholarship. John was experiencing at that time what a lot of young players have, and that is doubt. And, uh, a doubt, if you let it, uh, can become crippling. Coach Golden, you know, he sat me down and I was really nervous. My eyes were definitely a little watery because I was really scared about what he was going to say. And what he said was totally different from what I thought he was going to say. I remember sitting down and him saying, John, do you know you're a redshirt freshman? And I was like, yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and he just said, you know how awesome you're going to be in four years? And I was like, really? <laughs> John was, at that moment of his career, thinking too much about his future and wanting to be at the destination, but not really focusing on the journey. You know, he kept telling me, like, you have another four years here at Miami, and, like, if you continue to work and give it your all, you're going to be a, a really good player. I think there's probably a moment in everybody's career where the light comes on. Uh, sometimes God puts people in our life that can help us get the light on. Other times it's events, but I think in John's case, his, uh, his confidence continued to grow that summer. I kept that with me during the summer and that upcoming fall, the second game of the season, Ohio State, I was starting at right tackle. Now Golden, runs for the smoke for the first time. Behind him. The Hurricanes. 
as we went into Iowa State that week, you know, we moved him out to right tackle. And uh, there's a very vivid play that I can remember. John had a good block on the play, and he probably derived a lot of confidence from that. First hand off across the 40. Lamar Miller to make the And here we go. Miller to the 30. Miller in a foot race to the 20, 15, 10. And Miller brought down. I'll tell you something, Joe. They got a new right tackle in Feliciano, and he's a big reason that play broke it. Really, from that moment on, I don't know if John was really ever out of the starting lineup. John can play really every position on the offensive line. He does have good mobility. He is tough. He's rugged. He's durable. He is smart on the field. He takes care of his grades off the field. He'll be a graduate this year for us. So he has attributes now that perhaps he didn't recognize three springs ago. That meeting with Coach Golden, the exit meeting from spring, you know, that, that definitely gave me an extra boost of motivation and helped me to strive to be the player I am now. It didn't really hit me until I was walking out into the buck and I was like, wow, I'm actually graduating. This is like, uh, this is like real. I got out there and I saw everyone. I saw my family sitting in the stands. And you know, at that time, I took a moment and just appreciated everything, appreciated everyone here at Miami, and you know, just see how far I came. I confer upon you the bachelor's degree with all its attendant rights, privileges, and obligations. When I walked into the graduation and saw John on that stage, that's why I got up and started dancing. I was just excited to know that, you know, they called his name. Jonathan Feliciano. I was saying to myself, you know, wow, we're sitting here for John's graduation. This is really amazing. It was very good feeling, very excellent feeling. I'm, and I've never had that feeling because I've never had anyone in the family graduate. He is the first one. What John's done is a big step. I'm glad my family had the opportunity to enjoy graduation as they did because you know, every time I looked at them, they all just stand up and cheer and make a lot of noise. I was just happy that they could have that moment for themselves also. It brought us all happiness and it's all because of John you know he was the man of the hour right there you know we we're all thankful and it was a great moment it was all because of his graduation it's very fulfilling to see him get that diploma and to see where he's going to go next be it NFL being a business administrator being a teacher I mean he has a, you know, a lot to look forward to, and I just want to see where he's going to go next. Seeing my family afterwards, I mean, we were taking a bunch of pictures with the diploma, and I know it meant a lot for them just to you know, be able to hold it and document that big step in our lives. I just know that when he grows up his kids, he's going to have a backbone with that degree, and he's going to say, you know, thank you, my mom, my dad, my grandma, and everybody else for helping me out, but you know, he did it on his own. Basically, he did it on his own. You know, and I just hope that his children and my, my grandchildren will follow his footsteps. After graduation, I uh, kind of left my family and just went home. <laughs> really just thought about everything. Thought about coming from high school you know, living in multiple houses, living in a house where had no electricity or, you know, sometimes no running water. And just had time to just sit down and reflect on how I was able to get through it and, you know, see where I'm at now. Like, I'm at the University of Miami, one of the best schools in the country, and playing for, in my opinion, the best football team in the history of sports. If you look at John, now the type of man he has become, a graduate of the University of Miami, which is inc incredible based on his story and, and uh, where he's come from. And he's blue collar all the way, uh, one of our hardest workers. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're grateful to him uh, for, for what he represents. And clearly we're excited for him uh, because he's starting to become the type of player that he always dreamt of being. 
just to have that moment by myself when I was at home after graduation to sit down and um, really think like you did do it. You did get through it. You did everything you wanted to do and you still have the opportunity to continue to fulfill my childhood dreams of playing in the NFL and you know playing here at Miami.